Greetings class, let's get started with the word of the day. Today's word is entrepreneur. Four syllables, entrepreneur. This word has a French origin meaning, one who undertakes a project. But I am here to tell you that it was Americans who made the word entrepreneur great. Americans like me, I'm Powell Crosley, a can-do man, a never give up man, a pie in the sky, fly real high man, an innovator, an inventor, an instigator, a don't wait till later, gotta get it done kind of man, a businessman, always can, bet your bottom dollar in this land, I'm an American, capital C, capitalism. That, boys and girls, is the spirit of an entrepreneur. Of course, like any undertaking, it wasn't easy. I was born on September 18, 1886, in good old Cincinnati, Ohio. I was blessed with a loving father and mother, but one thing I didn't have was money. You see, boys and girls, I was poorer than dirt. I didn't have two nickels to rub together. I was so poor that when it was raining outside, it was raining inside. I was so poor that my coat was on loan, my briefcase was a knapsack, and my bathroom was a bucket. Now that's poor. So how did I end up one of the richest men in the 1920s? How about another question? Who? Mass produced radios, invented weaponry that was used in World War II, sold appliances like refrigerator units and exercise equipment, sold, developed automobiles and automotive parts, and even managed a baseball team. Answer, me, Powell Crosley. Why? Because I'm always moving, always doing, always grooving, never snoozing, never losing, never choosing to fail kind of man. I tell you boys and girls, with brains in your head, heart in your chest, Feet in your shoes, spirit in your soul, you can go from rags to riches. Capital C, capitalism. Oh yes, where to begin? Hmm, how about the beginning? Like most young lads, I had a love for vehicles, so I started the Crosley Motor Company, but <laughs> it failed. Did I give up? No. This time I founded the American Automotive Accessories Company. We sold car parts. And business boomed. Why? Satisfied customers. I was the first in our great country to coin the phrase, money back guarantee. Then one day, my son asked for a radio. But radio sets were starting around $100, a product only for the rich. My son and I put one together for pennies on the dollar. Crosley, the capitalist, I saw the de that the demand was high, but the supply was low. So... The Crosley Radio Company was born, manufacturing $7 radios any American can afford. Then, the world went to war, and Crosley Industries cranked out powerful missiles that took down enemy aircraft. Later in life, I purchased the Cincinnati Reds, and thanks to me, they were the first baseball team to broadcast live games over the radio waves. So I became Kepler Rich. So rich, instead of cleaning my house, I bought a new one. So rich that my butler had a butler. So rich that my food comes pre-chewed. Unfortunately, I died on March 26, 1961. That was a real bummer. But did I mention that I was rich? Kids, what are you going to do with your life? Boys, are you just going to sink in your sofa and play video games while socialists destroy our economy? Girls, are you going to spend hours on social media while the free market disintegrates? No, you won't, because you're the ones who will make America great again.